Hey, g'day, Trader Sam here from Trade to Prosper to give you another crypto review. Looking at Chili's. Chili's has uh, done a good job with the, the bottom, or recent bottom, and it's really gained a fair bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some key charts. We have the accu accumulation down here, and you can probably align it with automatic response to a level and the up thrust pretty much to that level and you can see how that progressed let me just just change the colors for a sec so we had a white white off accumulation and if we were to use fibonacci to the Hit the 0.786, fair enough. And if I look at the early wave count, it's probably wave five. What what's pretty pretty important at this point is this structure. And what we've seen is we've broken down very much like Bitcoin's top. We've broken this important neckline. So what we do is we bring in the other chart. And whoops, I don't want to do that. this chart here and we're going to focus on that now just before we do that just have a look at what we see here and can we use anything from a macro side okay so that is our neck neckline for this I'll give it a guess roughly you've got some wicks down there okay so that's regained that level interesting enough it's pretty bullish, isn't it? And the only thing I can see really is that trend line. And what I tend to do is I use a second one and uh, give or take. You can say yes or no. It's it's subjective, and but in many cases it does work. Okay, so I tend to do that. What I do feel like, based on the um, current status of Bitcoin, and more so this level here, which has pretty much confluence with this Fibonacci. So I do one there, zero, and you can see these Fib levels. What we can do is, let's just bring this out a bit. <clears throat> Buying climax, secondary test. Up thrust, and what we've done is we've lost this key level. That that's that, that's the point. So let's just zoom in a bit, and I think and um, give or take, if we were to do this, maybe ever so slightly. No, that doesn't work. I'm going to manipulate certain, certain things. I don't want to do that. I need common touches. Okay, that's pretty much in place a lot of touches on that line let's see how that goes in close maybe we should just make this dash so we can't actually yep make a dash so we can't mix them up so we've even dropped that level as well so we found support and we drop down now here's a here's a tool another trading strategy and it's fitting it's a swing failure trade give me a sec give or take so what we've had is this this level here fail didn't hold it up can see that so what we have now is pretty much uh, in terms of high lows and low lows that's what we got and can we say that's a different wave count one I still feel I'm, I'm bearish at the moment 
and uh, this could be a right there is a resistance level coming up so we're on the four hour chart and what we want to see is so what we're doing is that UA, UAT we, we are breaking this so this is our if we were to line it with this secondary test Because stock market's bearish, although they're getting a bounce, let's say, uh, let me just have a look if the stock market's getting a bounce. It's not the best bounce, is it? But it is getting a bounce. Let's see. It does look like a reversal taking place. No. If it drops any more, so if it goes sideways for a short time, this is pretty much like a double bottom. I, so I still expect to go up. So um, it is risky for Chili's. Um, but what we want to see is we want to see a rejection here at this level. So we want to see a red candle come in, come in. And then depending on the candle structure, um, we'd like to see probably an engulfing. Why is this so slow? Small. It's just like crap. Okay, that's better. So what we want to see is, all right, we, we've got a good rejection at these levels. We're a swing failure rejection. Um, can we say it's ahead? And, uh, no, not yet. So this is going to be the, the main support. So we can get a rejection. And it's likely to be rejection here. We're on that level. We'd like to get a rejection. If we get an engulfing candle on the four hour, which, which is pretty much bigger than that, or lower than that, then it's going to come down to this level for support. And can we see it doing a reversal? Probably not. However, let's see this. Yes, even that, that's even failed as well. So, yeah, this is going to be a nice entry for short. And then uh, my guess is you might do a double top, double double attempt at this level, and then come down. And that's probably the, the right shoulder taking place. Um, this is how much percentage is that, really? From there to there. Maybe 8%, yeah, give or take. It could probably be even less, but it's a small trade. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. And... And I'm and from a, a macro perspective, I'm looking at this formation to complete. And so we'll, we'll we'll hang around here for a while, and drop, and then get another process try to hold. If it's going to go bullish, it will go from there. Otherwise, it will come down. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, it's just. See from the big picture perspective, let's see on the weekly what this all looks like. Give me a sec. See the weekly level. Interesting formation, isn't it? It's still okay. So that line on the week that's a weekly resistance line as well. You would take that trend you can say that's the trend or can we do that the weekly so yeah but that is a weekly line hold on let's just do this for a sec i don't want to see that on the weekly let's do this for a sec Okay, so it's, I would just say that was a 1.2 level. Just let's see if that fits into the model. 1.272, that's our one. 
Yes, yeah, so it's come to this level here. That is a rejection level. So it's a weekly rejection level. Hmm. It is. That's a weekly level. Which, fair enough, is to push it back down. And can this be a uh, topping off motion structure? Um, the other aspect to this, we can see pretty clearly. So down descending wedge. So can it make it to that top? Probably. Hmm. It's going to be a hard one. The point five is definitely here. Yeah, it's going to be a real. Uh, let's do that hammer. This area is going to be the hammer. If you can get to there. So is it worth taking a short? Uh, that's the question. Um, it's come to support on the weekly. So we've got a strong weekly move. Hmm. The volume's down though. Nothing special. But definitely that is a rejection area. The, the trend, middle of the trend line makes sense. So it's definitely a downward trend line. And um, that's a big gain, isn't it? From there to there. There must be, what, 200% far out? Let's look at it from another perspective. Okay, so if I'm looking from a weekly level, um, I do feel like this is going to hold. This level is going to hold, so it's probably not worth trading. I do feel like this is going to hold just for a while and then drop. Um, just the reason being is uh, if I look at the Dixie, it's at the resistance level. If you can see this trend, this channel, and the Dixie is right there. It, I think it, it might just pull back a bit before it goes back up. Um, it could pull back a fair bit more. It could come back down to here. Um, and that will just give the, the stock market, like the likes of um, Dow Jones, to bounce from where it is, which is, and probably that's enough, and then back down again. Um, definitely being bearish. But we, we got this 200 moving average. So Dow Jones is looking all right. Um, SP500 is also, let's look at that. It's, it's finding support. I do expect that to also do something similar to lock the Dow Jones and give us sort of a bit of a rally there and then come back down. Might just fake out past that trend line. Um, we can use the Fibonacci to work out where roughly it's going to be. So if we were saying that from there to that level, get a 618.5 is probably more likely. So this area here, and then come back down. Um, so if you haven't seen my um, SP500 chart, I do feel like this is what's going to happen. Um, and then it's going to bounce back up and further down. So what you got to understand, guys, the monthly 21 weekly moving average has been so if you look on the monthly, on the SP500, it's, it's not looking good. Why is that? Where's the water? Okay, here we go. You can see the, tw the monthly candle. And if I add uh, the 21 moving average, I just add the 21. Historically, whenever we lose that 21, and I've discussed this many times before, once we lose that 21 monthly moving average, like that's a you can see that's a clear rejection, and it's falling to the same scenario as over here. So we we go back up 21, lost, and then you see capitulation. And uh, there's other charts that do the same, much more. So um, this this condition is pro 2000 is probably a better condition. But yeah, you can see how once we lose a 21, we probably come down a fair bit, go to retest that level. So what's going to happen is once we lose this level, 
will come down, retest that, that level, and come down more, or maybe one more try, and then down. And uh, yeah, there's a whole different evaluation there. But that's my opinion with um, the stock market. And <laughs> so Dixie might just keep continuing going up. By the way, look at um, Link. Link is doing as good as well. So this might just might just stop it where it is right now. But um, it does look like a bullish formation at the moment. I'm still holding Link. Uh, if it loses a key level like that, if I see a few, um, a few one or two red candles on the daily, then uh, it's pretty much going to go down at the moment. There's no red candle, so that's still good. And uh, if we look on the day for this one, yeah, so we was, we are starting to drop. So the daily is pretty, we've got a few red candles in the row on the daily, so this is likely to drop. And just like I said, that's 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 the weekly, I think it is. Support level. Um, not the best time to short yet, but on a small time frame, like we said, it's going to come up to that level here. So we just have it. We need to see a red candle before we jump in. But th this is what we want to see that level of resistance with a bearish candle coming back down and that's why i'm looking for short but we've got to see a rejection first or two candles depending on the, the type of candles it gives us then we come back down and uh most likely that's where we we come for the target and we're more likely to either go through it straight away go through it down and then retest or we find that and a right shoulder is taken so we have potentially a head and shoulders but it's at a key fib level and if it's doing that you might as well pay attention to this as well that could be um, an ascending wedge as well so everything's looking like failure to the downside i'm going to leave it at that guys um, hopefully that helps but I am going looking too short and uh, I missed that entrance there. So I'm looking for an opportunity there. Right then, thanks again. Uh, please spread the word, get up, get more people to follow me. That'll be nice. And uh, hopefully give you more tips. Talk to you soon. Cheers.